everyone. It's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. I had a really quiet day, I guess, or no, maybe it was a good day. I don't know what kind of day it was. I talked on the phone several times, and I crocheted a lot today, and I have a little video to put in, and you can watch me eat some squash. So let's just go to that video. A little short ride up to see what they're doing at the solar fields. Just a little bit here. I just went outside and picked these. They're, um, I forgot what they're called. <laughs> mashed potato squash. Yeah, mashed potato squash. They taste just like mashed potatoes. Then I cut it in half. I slid it down the middle. And I took the seeds out. And then I cleaned the seeds off. Because I'm going to save this. Then I laid, well, I've been eating them, as you can see. I laid them on the dish upside down like this, so that they still had their, I took the seeds out, but I laid them down on the dish like this, and then put it in the microwave for 10 minutes, and this is how it's coming out. And then I take the spoon and just peel the stuff out of the, peel it out. I have to agree. Who would think a squash would taste like a mashed potato? Just put a little butter on it, a little salt and pepper, a little sour cream. Just the salt and yeah, pepper. Just the salt and pepper and butter. Makes it makes tastes it. delicious. That's how I'm eating this one. I already had the one with sour cream, and now I'm going to have it back with butter again. This is so good. It's so easy. I think it was one of your followers that told you about this or yeah, said something. Yeah, I, I had um, seen it on another video. There. We haven't have one around that's a baked potato. We haven't tried that one yet. No. I'm going to take a little butter. No, I'm going to put some butter on it. And then I'm going to put some salt on it. It's getting cold. Yeah. When it was hot... When it was hot, hot, I put it in the paper towel to try to do it because it was so hot to put a little Himalayan salt on it. Stir it up, and oh, it's going to be so good. You've had two whole squash. I have. And I'm you're the one that tells me you don't really mm. care for squash. But this is so good, you would never believe and with being on keto, you haven't had I haven't had potatoes in forever. This is a joy. There is a little bit of sweetness to it, just a tiny touch of sweetness. It's like it's like when you get those Yukon Gold potatoes; they have a sweet taste too, and mm -hmm. they look yellow like this. That's what it reminds me of. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious. So if you're on keto and you want a wishing for potato. They say these have less carbs. I don't know how much less, but it's supposed to have less carbs. And it is really, really good. 
my spoon got dirty. Mm -hmm. You're not going to take I called Emily today. Emily, you're in this one again, too. Yes, you mm -hmm. are. And I went to Jessica's today because Jess, I had my hair cut today. I don't know if you noticed in that little video, you could see my hair in the back of it. Yep, I had it trimmed today because it was getting kind of long. But anyways, I called Emily to see how she was doing, and she said she made bread, and then she sent me a picture of her bread. Her bread looks really good. And then she says to me, <laughs> now this is her because she's always wanting, wanting, wanting. She said that she made bread, but she didn't need to use a bread pan, but it was one of those that you could just put on a pan, and it was a round loaf is what it was. And I said, do you, did I give you a stone? She goes, no, you didn't give me a stone and you didn't give me a air uh, convection, convection oven. oven. And I said, well, I didn't give the other kids a treadmill either. And she mm -hmm. goes, oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> you know, it's like, gee whiz, you know, you want the world. The world is not free, but she thinks it is, apparently. What? else do I have nothing else so let's just say goodbye and I'll see you tomorrow bye <laughs>